The IOC president met with members of the Guam National Olympic Committee, stakeholders, national teams, and athletes during his visit. He spoke about how the IOC will be distributing around $5 billion to the 206 National Olympic Committees worldwide. Bach is the ninth IOC president and was elected to an eight-year term at the 125th IOC session in Buenos Aires on September 10th, 2013. He is a German lawyer and former Olympic foil fencer. President Bach visited the Guam National Basketball Training Center in Tizen and the Leo Palace Resort along with other GNOC facilities. The main purpose of the trip was to see firsthand where the funding from the IOC has gone and where improvements can be made at the different sporting venues. Double I Double A G Girls High School Soccer Quarterfinals from St. John's Field. The Knights at home facing the St. Paul Warriors. The last meeting between both teams ended in a draw. Knights keeper Hannah Fernandez kept St. Paul scoreless in the first half before leaving the game for a school play at halftime. Kaya Malakuti would take over and hold it down for the home team. After the final whistle blew ending regulation, both teams went back to their sidelines to prepare for a shootout. St. John's would win the shootout two goals to one and will now play the defending champions, Notre Dame Royals this Wednesday. The Royals advance after beating out the Ukudu Bulldogs four to one, setting up the showdown with the Knights. Guam High shut out Harvest 6-0 and will meet up with the Academy Cougars in the other semifinal matchup after Academy was victorious against Tizen 4-0. Bud Light Guam Women's Tackle Football League action from the UOG field. Team Legacy improved to 2-0 this season after handling their business against the Sandalo Raiders 18-0. Olivia Flores Elliott taking it to the house for the 45-yard touchdown run. Sindalu Raiders deny Legacy on the point after attempt. Legacy ball hawking defensively. Serena Camacho and Christiane De La Cruz get in on the tackle for a loss here. Letitia Bloss breaks a tackle and bounces it to the outside for a short gain. Alana Garcia would score her team's first and last touchdown of the game for the second straight week, leading the way for the defending champions rushing game along with teammate Elliott.